Hi guys, um, today we are going to uh, well actually do the condensation polymerization which we didn't leave, we just touch a bit because I went quite a, quite detailed for the uh, addition polymerization. Now I'm, today actually we will be doing this part B here, right? Uh, focusing mainly on condensation polymerization, okay? So now let's look at the H. Um, okay. Okay, let's go down here. Let's okay, let's go down first. Huh? Now remember uh, for condensing polymerization, there are two parts there. One of course is polyesters and one of course is uh, polyamides. Okay, so, and one of course, uh, one more is your proteins. Now, I'm going just to give you a big picture here first, right? Wait for here. Now, if, uh, well, let's see if I can get a better empty space now. Okay, now, okay, here, now, my, okay. Now, you, you, you look at it carefully here. If I, if I put a condensation, condensation, Polymerization, okay. All right, two part two here. <clears throat> I can put that here three three parts, uh, okay. Uh, one of course, well, let's say I put okay two parts better here. One is what's your polyesters. One of course is polyamides. In polyamides, you can have, of course, synthetic, and you have called natural. Of course, the, nat the synthetic ones are, are we call nylon, huh? okay? Where you will see the examples given in your, uh, well, CIE uh, syllabus is, of course, nylon 6.6, 6, 6, 6, 6, nylon 6, and Kevlar. Okay, for natural, basically, it's just proteins. Okay, polyesters. Uh, well, yeah, actually, you have a natural, and of course, you have got synthetic. Synthetic, basically, what uh, you would be covering is called terulene. How to spell terulene? Huh? Now my tellerina, oh, I better look at the spelling correctly. Okay, my spelling is going to help us. Tellerin, T R U L. Okay, T R U L. Let's put on here. Well, let's. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay. T E R Y L E N E. Okay. Now this is your syn. This is your synthetic. Huh? Mainly this is in clothing. Huh? For clothing. Okay. And of course the natural one. Who can tell me what's, what what's the natural uh, esters? It's fats. Okay. So that's why you can see in these two things here, fats and proteins here, they are, they are natural substances, which means that they, can, they are able to break down, okay? Which means they are able, they are biodegradable. Degradable, okay? Because of the link, why I explained the last session was because of the linkages there, right? Because the ester linkages, the linkages, Linkages, huh? right? The, the linkages can undergo what? Hydrolysis. That's why your fats can be broken down, right? To your know, simple fats. Proteins can be broken down to amino acids, in, right? So you have these two things here, which uh, in nature they're able to break down because of water availability and, of course, in our body system, in plant life, whatever, there is always your catalyst. Uh, your enzymes okay so now let's look at the how they are made right 
Now you can see down here, first one of course is your polyesters. Okay, let's go with the polyesters for that. Now let me just, uh, uh, now here, okay. Remember since it's an ester in your AS or form five, an ester is formed between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid, okay? So if we have got only one functional group, for example, if you have only one functional group at hit here, okay, this is your ethanol. I'll write slower, so better handwriting. Huh? Okay, and of course, if you put the, the reverse uh, formula for your carboxylic acid, your ethanoic acid, okay, you can box it. Okay, remember, remember that the OH comes from here, not from alcohol. Okay, that means the acid doesn't act like an acid, no. Okay, so you get a normal ester, CH3, CH2, O, uh, remember how to write it, huh? Okay, and CH3, and of course you get water coming out. Now this is, this is your ester, these are normal esters, okay? It means only one molecule here. But if you've got a bifunctional group, now this is called now this is called dihol. Why? Because there are two alcohol groups here. Okay? Two OH group alcohol group, the C here, all right? So so it's called ethane, diol. Ethane. Okay? Means two carbon. Diol. Actually one one other is this is diol. Okay? Right, so this is a, a, a well a bicarboxylic acid, okay, with the with, uh, with the ring here, okay. So they are bifunctional group. So in this case here, normally as I said, uh, it is a copolymer. Let me see. I need two, at least two, okay, at least two different monomers, okay, copolymer polarization. Okay, so at least two, because it must be a, a dicarboxylic acid. Why? Because I need to continue it, right now. Otherwise, if it's just uh, one year, I need to have a long chain, about a few thousand, 10,000, 100,000 um, uh, monomers in a long chain. So in this case here, now, it can normally, uh, in exams, Right, theoretically wise, you can have a, a dicarboxylic acid, but normally this one is very slow because it's many solid substances here. Okay, this is solid here, so it's very slow in reaction. You can heat it to dissolve whatever. So normally they use a, a diacyl, right? Diacyl, diacyl. I'll show you afterwards. Okay, it looks basically like this, lah. Right, the ring here. The ring causes it to be very high. Melting point and also difficult to dissolve. Okay, just like this same. All right, remember the A sound, di A sound. Okay, this is better. Okay, so normally in exams they, they this or this, uh, but normally this is preferred. The di A sound is preferred because of the high reactivity. So here you can see how it comes up. Right here is water comes up. Same. So if I put another one here, if I put another one here, okay, another um, alcohol here, just to show you the continuation, okay? I'm going to write slowly so that uh, it looks better. Lah. I've been thinking, oh, my writing is so horrible. My spelling is horrible. My writing is horrible. Oh, terrible. Okay, if I put another one. Okay, just to let you see the continuation and so forth. Very important to see so that you won't make a mistake. Okay, now remember, like that. Ah, the O came, the, the O come from the carboxy acid. Not from the alcohol, no. Because actually they did a O18 O18 test. Uh, they found that O18 test, the 18 come from here and it came from this part here, okay? Uh, you can go and look at the website. Lah. So here, some comes up here. And here, same thing, uh, comes up like that, okay? So if that comes out here, right, you can get the whole thing here, of course, right here, if you want to continue, it'll be O and a C, right now, H2 and a CH2 and an O 
And uh, what? Okay, now very tricky. Uh, sometimes the you know the exam. Actually, after a question here, we did yesterday actually, and so forth. All right, and so forth. So correctly, by right, this should be the. You know, this is the polyester. Uh, this is the what? This is the linkage, right? You have to circle the linkage. Circle it. It's called the ester linkage. Okay. All right, same thing here. All right, same thing here. Okay, all right, this is same thing here. So, for every ester linkage, you get out, you come out one molecule of water. Now, this one you can see later uh, the ask questions on how to calculate the MR and all this. So, you must take account one, 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 uh, one. Uh, linkage one water comes up. Now remember, so the first thing of course is to uh, write the repeat unit. Remember the repeat unit must include the monomers, the full monomers, okay? So it must be here, which is correct, okay? Right? Remember this is from alcohol, isn't it? The H comes up and of course here it will be until the carbonyl group here, here. right? Now, I'm going to show you a question which they purposely do another way so that to trick you, so that you will. Now, wait, wait, I'll for that. Now, here you can see that in this one here, I get two different monomers, okay? Two different, very important to notice, monomers, okay? Of course, the first one, of course, it will be a diol plus a dicarboxyl acid, all right, or a diacyl, okay, right, okay, which is not here. Now the second one I'm going to show you down there, right, right, uh, well, okay, one is two here, lah. okay, it is it is a, a, a more a homo polymer. This is a, this is two different, okay? Uh, well, I would, I would, maybe I shouldn't put like that. Okay, this is one. Two, one monomer. Ah, if it's one monomer, uh, what, 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 if it's one monomer, which means, uh, right, the, the monomer itself here, right, Cannot be a dye or or dye carboxyl. It must be a alcohol group here, and the other end here must be a carboxyl acid, right? Or the other end here would be an acyl group, uh, okay? Which which happens, you no? Know? I show you here. It's called poly uh, lactic acid, okay? Or lactic acid here. Now here, this is a good example. Lactic acid, of course, is formed in your body when the body doesn't have enough oxygen and excess too much here, uh, right? Yeah, so you can see here, right? This is your lactic acid, okay? Right, you got your alcohol group here and your acid group here in one molecule. That means I don't need another molecule uh, to polymerize. That one molecule can do it just like your protein, you know? I mean, as it, it means a two function group set. So in this case here, you can see here, of course, if I were to draw out the whole picture, it'd be O here and the OH here, yeah. So same thing here, remember? Okay, All right, so we give you this, this color here, All right? And of course here, uh, if you put, I just don't have space here, never mind. H here, I can see here, will come out like that, yeah, no. okay? And it goes on here. So if I were to con continue here, right, it will give me this O here to a C double bond O and continue here. Here, with this part here, right, here, all right, here will be your C, sorry, here, here, rather, I'm, I mistook here, here, okay, here is here, right? So here, here should, of course, be a C, the other end here, H here, and the CH3 here, and so forth. Okay, and so forth here. Yeah.
Now, the, if the, the problem is if you ask you for the repeat unit, uh, this is where the question came up, I'm not sure of course, okay? Repeat unit. So how do you do it? Remember, the repeat unit must have, that means you only put one. Okay, so how, how will you start? You'll be starting from here, you know, here. Right, here, I'll, I'll put a blue color last so that you can uh, it's a bit easier. So remember, in here, it'll be this one here. Okay, here, to where? To, here is it. Yeah, see now, right? So the repeat unit should, would, would be, the watcher, you watch, see how the question come out, it's a bit wrong, uh, different. I say wrong, but up to them, uh, they want to trick you, they trick you. Uh. H here, and you see H3 here. And, okay, now this is a repeat unit. And, okay, for poly, Lactic acid. Now this is interesting that they actually made this and uh, the, because it is it is uh, biodegradable, this polylactic acid uh, polymer is used in sutures, you know, in let's say if you want to, uh, you know, uh, cut your stomach and go for surgery and they sold a trait and the trait will self biodegrade. So you have to go and take out the trait. Okay, that's what happens. Okay, polylactic acid, it will self Dissociate after the wound has healed, it will dissociate. So they have to go into another operation to remove the thread, etc. Okay, so this one now. Look at the question. Okay, I'm going to show you a question here, which is quite tricky. I, I did the question yesterday, I think so. Long. And, uh, you know, I may not have time to actually go through everything. It's page 3, 5. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm not where you used it. Okay, never mind. Let me try it again. Okay. Three, five, three, five, three. Three, five, three. Always remember, uh, you know, it's always good to back up your your ans your answers, your questions, right? Uh, your theory with good questions from the past question. Now this one here. Okay. See now. Yesterday I think we go through here. There has been considerable research in making biodegradable plastic bags. The repeat unit for one of the monomers used is polylactic acid. But not here, see. Ah, it's short. Now they give you this, 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 this polymer here. Ah, they're very tricky, is it? Now, of course, they can draw that. Now, because this one is a what is a as the linkage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better know. Okay, see what is in the main skeletal chain, is it? Right. So. Right, so how do you find the monomer? See, it draws up the monomer. Remember, if you want to continue, right? Now, remember this does not, they didn't say that this is a repeat unit, no, right? They draw as if it is that, okay? But to, for repeat unit, you must, which means you must, you must put down the proper part where it comes out, that means the, oh, the, the atom comes out to be, called, to be perfectly correct. Remember, see here, okay? So if this is the only uh, repeat unit here, that means over this side here must be what? Okay, continues in, right here. That means it cannot be a car box. It, can, it, it cannot be like, like I said, it cannot be a, 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 a carboxyl acid group here because if the two carboxyl acid group here cannot say, it. No, no. if it's two carboxyl acid here, that means it must have another a diol, you know, a diol here, uh, you know, to, to do the what? to do the polymerization, you know. But no, it's only one. So if it's only a, mo, a, a homo, a homo polymer, which means if there must be a bifunction group, that means at the end here must be a OH, you know, O, you know, yeah. So O here, right now. So means it must be O here, which means if, if it's O here, that means it will continue to be what? To be a carboxylic acid here. It's not. I mean, draw up like whatever. Okay. So there's one, two, three. Okay. One, two, and one here. CH3 here. And this side must be an OH naught. Yeah. So it goes on there. So this here, O must be C, right? Now this, this one here, right? So it's the same as here would be a CH3 here. Right? And go down here. Okay. C and here. Of course, uh, this one here is a H. Uh. Okay, if you're not sure, 
uh, of this kind of thing, draw everything, carbon of four bonds is a H here. Okay, so here will be a carbon group. Okay, and an O and it goes on. So if it asks you for the monomer, so draw everything first, continue the whole set first, then how do, you, how do you find the monomer? So you want circle the what? Circle the, okay, I put the red color. So you can see better. Circle the what? Circle the linkage. Okay, as the linkage here. If not enough, draw some more. If you think not enough, you draw some more. Lah. Ah, what's the problem? Okay, circle the linkage here. Okay, circle the linkage here. All right, All right. Then of course, then you, you cut where the linkage will break if you uncut what is it right and as does it here right here right here right okay down here so now you then you circle from from break linkage to break linkage means here to here okay let's not look at okay so if this is the case here let me see the monomer yeah let me see here the O here the O here then of course it must be H here, right? Because it's alcohol ma, plus your uh, carboxylic or your A sub group, isn't it? Right? Then to a C here, to a H here, to a CH3 here, right? To C, O, and then this of course must be OH or uh, A sub group, or, okay, which is better, A sub group is better. Okay, I'll show you the marking schema. CH3 here. C, O, and uh, Cl here. And of course, you get the same from here, isn't it? Remember, now, see, see, they draw from here to here. It's very misleading, isn't it? Of course, they want to trick you up. So actually, from here, here to where? To here. So this is your monomer, right? Which is the same one as here. Okay? Now, correct? So now, see, either one, <coughs> this or this, okay? Let's look at the, okay, 15, huh? Okay, 15. Oh, I don't have it here, man. Uh, never mind, okay. Take my word for that, I don't have time, okay? <coughs> I don't want, okay, maybe I can show you. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll come on my zero. I see all oh, dichloride, uh, dicarboxy, is it? See, it's not here. Okay, of course, it's another one, this amide, never mind. I see a uh, dicarboxy, is it? Or a uh, dichloride, or oh, dichloride. Another one here, see? Okay, here. Yeah. <coughs> I, I wrote all these things just to show you that, you know, either way. See something here? <coughs> right, you can see here. A dicarboxy acid. Or what? A acyclorate, which is like that here. So acyclorate is generally more favorable, you can see later, because of this high reactivity. Okay. Now. Okay, but but you put if you put the uh, uh, dicarboxy they would they could they should put it wrong but theoretically it's correct. Okay now, so now I just I, as I said I show you the um, different, uh, different ways of doing your esters. Okay, polyesters. <coughs> now let's go back to how about po um, okay? We won't go to fats. Okay, fats we have done already four five. I'm not going. I'm not going to go there. Uh, you can you can discuss later in class. You got a problem with that, okay? So one eight six. Okay, now let's go back to here, and now let's go to uh, polyamides. All right? Okay. Polyamides. Remember, amide. They form the amide linkage. Okay. Let's be slow here. Yeah. I. Okay. Now, uh, make sure you practice, uh, you do more practice. Uh, this, is a, this is a polyester, uh, okay? Polyester, yeah, this is a polyester acid, okay? Now, as I said, uh, now the two use of polyesters, of course, is used to make threads. Uh, of, uh, of course, this is for your polyelectric acid, uh, okay? Uh, linkage, ester linkage is to make your, okay, here, your bottles, okay? Your plastic bottles and so forth, polycarbonates, okay? Uh, see now, this is your, this is your terulin, uh, right? Terulin is basically, see now, all right? It's basically, so yeah, now it's bad, it's, it's bad to here, okay? To O here, 
Okay, this should be the correct one. For your what? For your uh, repeat unit. See not? Okay? Okay, sometimes this book, sir, not very good. Okay, now, now for nylon. It's your poly amides. Now, uh, I want to start with nylon 6.6 six first. 6 first. Sorry, nylon 6.6, six six, okay? Easier for you. Okay, now, why nylon 6.6? Six six? Remember, again, here you have a copolymer, right? So you have copolymerization because it comes two monomers. So it's a dicarboxy acid, okay? Of course, if you draw the whole thing up a little, to here, okay? Is it better? I okay. This is my better. I want to give an excuse. All right now, remember this is a dicarboxy acid. All right, it's called hexane. Okay, di. Oh wait, that's it. Okay. Hexane D weight, what's it called? Di okay, Hexane. Now why why hexane six? This four here plus the two here. For di acid must must be the end covers up, cannot be in the middle. There's four bonds here. Okay? Now this this is your hexane uh, diamine or hexyl diamine. Okay. Hexane diamine. Or one, they normally put uh, one, one six. Uh, okay, so there's six here, six here, uh, six carbon, six carbon. It's called, it's called nylon six six. Six carbon here, six carbon here. Okay, so it's called nylon six six. So, same thing. Remember, it's called polymer, that means uh, they are bifunctional group. Both are bifunctional. Bifunctional group, UN functional group. I'm not spelling out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Diamine, dicarboxy acid. As contrary to your proteins, which is a, uh, uh, well, uh, you know, one more monomer got two function groups. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, here, same thing. Huh? Okay. Water comes up. All right. Here, of course, here. If you want to put the other one here, H, O, and C double bond O here, and your bracket, CH2, 4, if you want to continue, lah. I think in, a, in, a, in your, your own time, you should continue you know, to show that it comes out of that. Okay? So, of course, then, of course, here will come out of that. Okay? So, repeat your name. Okay? Here. Right now. Remember, always you so it's stuck. It's okay. Now. Here. So here, 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 and of course here, right? To the end here. And then here, okay, here, stop here. So this, your here to here is called your repeat unit, okay? Right? Okay, you can put this one first also can. This one here, you want to continue here to C, about O, CH2, bracket 4, and C, double point O, and R, also can. That means this whole thing here is your repeat unit. Okay, anyone can say anyone first. Normally put an M here lah, to show that it continues. Okay, so it's called nylon 6-6. Six, six. Okay, All right? So this is uh, quite quite simple here. All right, nylon 6-6. Six, six. Okay, now of course nylon 6-6 six, six is of make ropes, musical instruments, strings, stockings. Now it's called peptide linkage. It's a polypeptide, is it not? Or amide linkage is okay. So if, you, if they are asked to circle it, circle everything, huh? Remember, I told you these four, these four fellas here, four, four of these guys here, all are the same plate. Same plate. Why? Because the carbon here is undergo what? SP, 2 Z, right? Triangle here, same plate. Okay? All right. This is this one. Yeah, because it's, it can, is it? It doesn't go down there. Okay, now Kefla. Kefla is famous, of course, came up before. Kefla is used to make your, uh, you know, uh, well, bulletproof vest. It's very strong. Why you ask why is Kefla so strong? You know what the answer you gave? Because the bonds are very strong, that's all. Okay, quite simple. 
So kefra also is is a is a like bi carbox di carboxylate and diamine. Or can just put a chlorine here if you want to, okay? Which is quite common the, the case here. Same thing. Uh, you got two rings here, okay? Two rings here, one ring here, one ring here, okay? So this is kefla. So let me show you a, a question on kefla. I got a question here. Kefla, kefla. Let me look at uh, okay, page two nine zero, okay? Two nine zero. So please make sure you go and do uh, you know look at the past question and do it, okay? And look at the two nine zero, okay? You can see here. Kefla is a tough polyamide used in bulletproof vest and high specification by 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 cycle tires. Okay, uh, it's also used to make those big tires uh, for those trucks. You know, because it's very hard. Okay, also used to make uh, you know, the wire hose, you know, the, the, the the pumping hose for petrol station. You know? right? So remember now, you look at it how they start to make uh, now this is uh, die. One one four nine methyl benzene, is it not? Okay, so you oxidize it. Remember and how to oxidize it? Because use KMnO four lah. KMnO four acidified, uh, right? And heat is it right? Both of them will be oxidized to bring your bicarboxylate, right? Then of course from here to here, you actually uh you can change it to a gray by using PCl five. Yes, not because why they they got a OH group here, so. The PCL5 is very loving. Okay? Then you use a diamine. Okay? See? Ah, ah. See, actually, here is your O and Cl here. Remember not? Use the H here and H here. Okay? I told you most of the time they prefer your uh, diacyl group. Okay? This is called hexane or hexane diol di dichloride. I'll show you after the name. Okay? So okay, after you can see. So same thing here. Now when it comes up here, they ask you for Kefla. Okay, right? Kefla. So of course, uh, this got a bit. Remember? All right. Here you put the line. Okay. Remember carbon here and oxygen here. Yes, not. Right? Remember this part here. The core come out, not? Yeah. Come out. Yeah. Come out. Yeah. Come out. So we'll give you the ring. Okay, the carbonyl group here. Then the amide linkage, the ring. Remember H here, and of course again then the tail. Okay, simple then. Let's see where I got the marking scheme. Now. I think I should see. Draw the structure formula of Okay, to here draw the structure formula. Okay, in the box above this one repeat unit. Okay, four marks. Very easy, is it? Let's see what I got here now. Okay, this is zero nine zero nine zero nine. Interesting. I don't have. Okay, okay I look for it. I don't know why I didn't have it. I did. And now my later Otherwise, he couldn't. You can't finish the whole thing again. Okay, all right, Kefla here. Let's look at, let's go back to the place here. One, it's one, it's six, one, one, nine, zero. One, nine, zero. Okay, enter. All right, so remember, I've shown you a ring now. Uh, now let's go to the nylon, okay, not caprolactam, also came up before. Now this is nylon 6. Here you can find that, it, uh, you know, this is a ring structure. Now this is the monomer, no? Right? Now this is the monomer, is a ring structure. One, two, three, four, five, six carbon. Right? That's why I got nylon 6. And here to a ring of 7. So it's a bit unstable. So it will break here and it will start to polymerize it with itself. Okay, it's a homopolymer. Okay, caprolactam. Right, so very simply, you can see here, right? Ah. Okay, so try to work it out yourself. Okay, uh, I think I've got one here. Uh, I'll show you one uh, here. Uh, there is. Uh, 
See here, I can see all these examples, uh, right? How the water, how, you know, how the water comes up, okay? Uh, okay, you can draw out the box, okay? So go through yourself to familiar yourself, okay? Uh, this is caprolactam syrup, right? Okay, so remember here breaks, and of course, if here breaks, this, this, this is the, of course, it's reverse, uh, okay? It's the, the, the gas stuff is on here, okay? Right, situation, situation H5, so here to internal cell. So, which means that this one will be the repeat unit, now, okay? So, this is called the repeat unit. Right, this whole thing is a one, two, three, four. This is a polymer of nylon six, right? So, one. Two, three, and four. Okay, with four repeat units. Okay, they want so many lah. They normally ask uh, what with three the most. Okay, I think I should have a caprolactam question here. I hope I got it. I'm a bit. I think I'm fine, no? Okay, monoma. Uh, never mind. Uh. Okay, now let's uh, uh, let's do some past question. Okay, okay. Poly and Mike to finish already on this uh, these two things here. Uh, poly Esther and Poly and Mike two six nine. Okay, let's look at this past question. Okay, two six nine. All right, amino acids. We we've done already. So proteins. We will continue later that one. Okay. All right, now here. Formula part of the chain of a synthetic polymer is shown below. Blah, 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 the whole thing here given, okay? Identify, identify the repeat units, okay? By drawing a square bracket on the formula above. Okay, now, uh -huh. so, right? So what's the repeat unit now? Of course, the first thing, of course, you must understand to draw to look at where, what kind of linkage is, of course, this linkage is there, what? Uh, of course, this, this is your NH, yes, uh, to your C. Draw it out here, draw out the structure, the what, the display formula, easier to see there. Okay, we're not sure you can draw by the side here, what? What's the problem with you? Okay, right? Like uh, that. Okay, okay, now, uh, right? Here is your CH2, CH2, and your N, H, and now to the other one here. Okay, and so forth here. All right, see the one O, and of course, N. I told you here, all right, now, to draw the repeat unit, you must identify the monomers first, right? So you, you circle the thing for me, or for yourself, lah, the linkages. All right. Okay. Now then, break the linkages. Where they break? Break here. Break here. Break here. And see how many types of polymers is it? Is it a homo or a hetero? Okay. From here to here is your bi or di carboxyl. Yeah. Or your di acyl group. Yeah. From here to here is a di amine. Ah. Okay. So where? So can from here, right? Da, da, da to here. Ah, is your what? Repeat unit. On mark already. Okay, give me two marks, man. All right, square around it on the above formula. Okay, draw the structures of two monomers. Of course, the two monomers, of course, the first one, of course, is here. Okay, you can. I put, I'm going to put the diesel out okay, because I think it's better. All right? All right, now, with the ring here, and your diesel. What's your one? Your diamine is it. It has to be diamine. Lah. How many carbons? Two carbons, CH3, CH2, CH2, and, and H, and H. Yes, now let's see whether, uh, whether I got paid. Last question, say no. I just say okay. Zero six. I think I have it here. June. Yeah, yeah. 
is the one. Okay. Okay, see now, the box, see now, see, see where the box, see where the box? Ah, see now, ah, with the carbon now, here, see now, see now. Not, the, not, the, not, not the here, and here, to, and here, you will hit here. You see? One mark. Okay? Ah, see now, now, now they put the, this part here, this part to this part here, of course, is your, ah, okay? This part here is your first, Monomer, is it not? Right? Uh, can you use a dye carboxyacid or your dye acyl? Okay, right? Both are acceptable in exams because theoretically correct, but as I said, normally in practice, practical or, or or it's a question paper, question they will give this one here. So better make use of this one here. Okay? Now then your dye amine. Okay? One mark each. Three marks. Easy peasy. Okay? Another question, we're going to look at the diamine. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Okay, um, I got here. Okay, 240 uh, yeah, I, I missed up here. Let's say 240 uh, what have we got here? 240. Now, 240, it is before the day, okay? All right, the first one, of course, see, uh, they say hydrophilic. Later we talk about this, okay, uh, on the properties of uh, hydrophilic. I told you before, is it? It means loving water, okay? So these fellows here can form what? Can form what hydrogen bonds with water is not? Yeah? Okay? Right? So, uh, the, the hydrogen, both can have hydrogen bonds with water. That's why they, they will love water. Here's okay. Okay? Contact lenses are soft, and kind of wounds are make it softer and can absorb all the blood, whatever. Okay, can allow bond water molecules to keep them soft and flexible. Sections of blah, blah, blah. Now, of course, this one here, of course, I told you this one here already. Uh, for this case, if they ask you for the monomers, okay, every two carbon, one here, every two carbon on the what? Every two carbon on the main skeleton, two is it, two is it, two is it, okay. You see, they're all the same there, so it's a homopolymer. So obviously, to write, to, 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 to draw the, uh, you know, the monomer, just focus on the double bond on this first, these two first. Okay, the H here and the H here. Okay, and up here is OH, and down here is the H. Simple as that. Now here, you can see, all right, uh, if they ask you for this one here, okay, now listen, this is the main chain. Do you know the main skeletal chain? You know. Okay, how do you know whether it's condensation or addition? Ah, there's a nitrogen here. Oh, it has to be polyamide. You know. So this is the amide linkage. Circle the amide linkage first. Okay, if you're not clear about this one, uh, continue here. Okay, here. And you know, so there must be a double bond here. You know. Okay, and continue. Okay, and this. Draw the draw the linkage. Now, to find the monomer, break here, break here, break here. That's not. And then box this whole thing here. Ah, it's one monomer. She's wrong. What? Die? Come box, isn't it? I'm going to draw a blue color line so at least it's clear. Okay, I'm going to start from here. So C, O, and O, H. All can be C, I was in, I told you before, okay? Go to C, the O, H remainder here, and the H here. And go down to C and H here, and go to O, H here. And to here, a C double bond O, okay, and O, H here. All are. CL. The second monomer, okay, from here, break to break. Ah, that's not. So it be what? Nitrogen here, okay? There, there must be diamine, is it? Yeah? Go to C, uh, let's, let's put the whole thing last Sometimes you put a H2 there, you don't want the thing is H here and uh, OH here. The OH is to trick you, it's the H here, 
and the H here, and the N here, and the H here. Right. Ah, see now. See? Okay? So, learn the skill how to do it. Alright, now they say here. Okay. Okay? Now, uh, just on this, uh, now, um, okay? Uh, type of conversation and so forth, so forth. Now, here the interesting is uh, part C. Chains of H, chains of polymer H can be cross linked, right? Now, polymer H. Let's get polymer H. Uh. So, here. This one here. Oh, oh, sorry. This one here. Can be cross linked. That means uh, I got another H here, okay? I want to join this, this with this. Okay, join this, this, okay, join. Cross, this is called cross-linking. It means make it harder, no, okay, uh, less, less flexible. Hard, some, sometimes you, you, you need uh, things which are harder and higher density because they're closer together. So what can link it here? Remember now, now if here got another OH group here, and all the OH group here, okay, how to link, how, how to link the OH and OH? Ah, huh? how to link this? Of course, you need a dicarboxase, is it? Uh, to join this, no, yeah. See, so that's why they ask you here. Okay, now which one will, 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 will link H and H? Okay, so which one of the following molecules would be suitable for such cross-linking? Okay, look for the, for the dicarboxase in. Because, see, the, your, your diamine cannot, because it's, it's an alcohol group, isn't it? So that's why here, there, ah, what am I, here, so. Okay, so, see, uh, da, 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 here's an OH. OH. I'm going to draw just all three, okay? And here another one, your, your H here. Here's your OH. Here's your OH. Okay, I'm going to draw. Now, of course, if, if I put this on here, okay? Now, let's say I box this thing here. This is a box, okay, to make it easier. Box here, and I got my carboxes here. And here. All right, what happened? Here, water comes out there, yeah. Huh? yeah. <clears throat> here now. So this now this now is linked to this one here. So so I get what what do I get? I get ta 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 here ta 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 here. Uh, o, here now, okay? And then it's O. Okay, now I'm going to use a a, a a red color to show to show the okay this molecule. Okay now. So here will be to you know, okay? Here also you know, and this is a box here. See now. So it's called cross linking. Remember, you do this uh, in your form five. Those who do the local syllabus, uh, when you balkanize rubber, 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 okay. So you put sulfur and sulfur here. Uh, so you cross linking. It's called balkanize rubber. Okay, right. So you make rubber tighter, harder. You can use it for, uh, you know, for your tires. Okay, so cross-linking, what type of bonds are formed in cross-linking? What, kind of, what, what, what type of bonds? Huh? Carbon, oxygen, is it not? Okay, covalent bonds, carbon dash covalent bonds. And of course, what kind of linkages is it? The linkage is what? It's ester linkages. You wanna put the whole thing on? Okay, okay, all right. Now this is uh, how they ask you Okay, uh, ten more minutes. I'm looking at the time so that I won't overshoot my time. Okay, now this one question, two question, and the third question. Okay, Kef, Kefla, we finish now. Fourth question, question number four. Okay, diamine. Okay, four zero four. All plan out read. Four zero four. By right. plan your work, work your plan. In the plan is going to fail. Now, ethane diamine. All right. If you have six carbon, six carbon is called e, uh, hexane diamine. Uh, uh, ethane diamine. All right. That means uh, like that. Two carbons here, and of course, diamines, right? NH2. You know, you know. If it's hexane diamine, uh, it's to make your uh, diamond 6 Yes? No? Yes. Okay. So if it's hexane diamine, it'd be NH like that. Okay, six in it, so you put H2 here. Normally, you just put bracket six here. This is to make your cup uh, nylon six six in it. 
Yes, not. So it's called hexane. Hexane diamine. Okay, this is your ethane diamine here. Useful region for chemi organic chemistry. Explain how the amino groups right, allow molecule to act as a bronze state. It's quite simple. Isn't it? Why? Because what's this bronze state base? It's a proton acceptor. Isn't it? Why? Because a lone electron pair is it here? Or not? Right? Because a lone electron pair. Lone electron pair in the nitrogen. Able to be a proton acceptor. Be a what? Proton acceptor. Proton, you're not sure, put a H plus here. Acceptor. Okay. Right? Okay, now here they ask you to write an equation for the direction of the excess. Okay, of course. Now here, just to, if you don't know, uh, I think you are idiots. Okay. Remember? Just write it, okay? NH2, CH2, just to finish off. And it's two. Ah, the excess eh? That means it must two sides here being protonated, eh? So two HCl. Do you what? Remember here should be ah three halogens, eh? Yeah, CH two, CH two, and H H H here. This will be positive and positive dot two Cl minus. That's not okay from a salt, eh? Okay. So, all right, uh, now here. Under certain conditions of ethane 1, ethane 1, 2, diamine acts with uh, ethane, see, uh, ethane, see, ethane means two carbons, dual carbon. Ethane, okay, so two carbon. A here means uh, the carbon of four bonds, you know, D-O-H acid means two carboxy acid, okay, to form polymer Z. Draw a structure, uh, two repeat it. Understand? Two repeat, that means very long, no? Okay, now I'm going to draw up and down here just so that you can see better. If you got a problem, do the whole, I won't say damn thing, like the whole thing, lah. okay? Don't be too afraid to draw it out in exams, okay? Draw nicely, don't put all over the, the, the page, okay? CH2, CH2, now I'm going to draw nicely just like me, okay? I'm trying to draw it nicely. I know my, my very hard to write you now these things here. I mean, it's easier to write this thing here than using a mouse. Okay, now they use the carboxy here now, then, then do carboxy here, okay? Okay, right? OH. Since they want two repeat rates, remember, this is only one repeat rate, okay? So H here and H here. CH2, CH2, and H here, H here plus another one. You can put one more if you want to, up to you, uh, you, uh, you practice it. Perfect, practice makes perfect, okay? Not practice alone. Let's I draw another one. Okay, another uh, amino, di diamine here, doesn't matter. So we make it clearer. Uh. CH2, CH2, and NH2. You can put another one if you want to, but now might enough already. Okay, now box it nicely. Here's a box, uh. here's a box, uh. yeah? Right? Here, box it. Uh, water comes out here. Box of la. Here's a box of la. Here's a box of la. Okay, so remember, you will form here. Not, okay, remember, the, this one monomer on monomer Z. So these two, these two parts will form one repeat unit, is it? Right? So one repeat unit. So I draw a line here. And H. You need to do this properly so that in exams you'll be very good, you know. You wish you are actually, but you are so lazy, you don't do your work. What to do? Even I cannot help you. So now this is a one bit, this one repeat, isn't it? Okay, the second one, you see Ah, okay, do what? Do add H here, okay, CH2 here, CH2 here, and add H here to another. I said, ah, take a stop. Two marks. Okay, I hope I got the marking scheme here. Okay, because important. Okay, okay. This <laughs> the year, man. I think I got the year up here. Okay, sixteen. Got forty-three. Okay, here we are. 
Ah, sit down. Okay? You see it? Right. Okay? Remember, continuous bonds. Did it? I don't know whether they asked you for scalar diagram. Now, sit down. See? Right? Now. Okay? Remember here, is, uh, yeah? See? Uh, this is one, uh, this is one monomer. It's two monomers here. Okay? So here to here is one repeat unit as well. Okay? This one repeat unit. Second one. See now. Ah, see? Ah, say very good. They stop here now. Okay? They stop here. They didn't put the, uh, see the, they didn't put the, the thing here. They didn't put. Okay? So, two repeat units, two marks. Okay? Uh, must display the A mic board. Okay? It's not here. Display, no. Uh, it sounds okay, but display better. Okay? One mark. And the whole thing is one mark. Okay? It's called condensation reaction. Alright? See, now this one here. Right? Two. Right? This one here. Okay? Remember, NH3, NH3, and put the CL cell here. Okay? Okay, let's go back to the question and see whether they ask you for skeletal diagram. They didn't say. So they say, draw the structure of the polymer showing two repeat units as well. Okay, so they did ask for two repeat units. But to write three is terrible. Okay, type of reaction for this polymerization, what is what? As this, con, then, station. Easy, is it? Okay. Okay, Z is uh is a number of biodegradable. Name a polymer that is non biodegradable. Okay, polythena. Hey, uh, polythena. Anything that, that is in addition, right? Here, polythene or polyvinyl vinyl chloride. Polythene. Or polyethene. Okay, now. Or polypropane. Doesn't matter. Now, one last question. I've got a few more minutes. That's all. One last question. Um. The next time I think I uh, I teach protein and I go I go some of this here and there which I think are quite good questions which I didn't do. Okay, two four eight. Today I did all this. Two four eight. Two four eight. Okay, Doki. All right, two four nine. Two four eight on top. All right. Ah yes, now this one I want to talk about. Actually, actually, I finished the one already. This, now this one here. Okay. The viscosity of the engine oil can be improved by adding certain medium chain polymers. A portion of the, of the chain polymer shown below. Now, very important, now look at the bracket here. Remember, if it's all carbon company, obviously, you know, must be additional. Right? Now, draw it out by yourself. Draw out, okay? See, now the bracket means that it's, it's, it's a chain. So these two carbons here, these two carbons, these two carbons here, all these are in the main chain. So, so draw that first, okay? Carbon, carbon, okay? Now draw it out. H here and H here, now, okay? Now this H here, draw on top here. Down here, draw the chain. It's right here. Okay? So it's CH2. CH2. And what? CH3. Yes, what? Then continue to this carbon here. Okay? You should see. H, H, and the, second, the, 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 the next C is here. And of course, to the side chain again, CH2. So draw it like that. See that? All right? Okay. And, and, and so forth. So I'm sure you know what I'm trying. So when you draw it out, the whole thing here is easy to see. And it suggests the monomer, obviously, every two carbon on here to here. You know, you can start from here also can, also can, no problem, you know, okay, right, so of course, the monomer will have a double bond, you know? so double bond here first, H here, you can put the H here if you want to, right, put the H here, and you can put down here, uh, CH2, CH2, CH3, if you want to put down here also can, okay, doesn't matter, right, all right, now remember they say 40 carbon atoms, so how many, how many carbon is that? Two, five is it? So five carbon atoms is for per monomer. Yeah. So how many monomers you use? I incorporate in the average molecule. So there are 40 carbons in one, one polymer chain. So how many? So 40 divided by five. Eight. Uh, 
eight monomers. Okay, see now, now this part here I want to talk about. I miss the factor here. Never mind. Use car engine oil can be recycled as a fuel in process distillation and cracking. Assuming the typical uh, engine oil is this one here, okay? This is another question, okay? C40H82. So just the equation for cracking uh, for in, uh, with a formula of 16 and hydrocarbons. Very important, huh? Right? Which means I got C40H82. I think I did this before with some of you last time, okay? Because of the thermochemistry. We give you, remember C16H34. Remember this, of course, is CNH2N plus 2, which is a alkane, isn't it? 40 times 2, 80 plus 1, right? This is 16 times 2 is 32 plus 1. This is an alkane, isn't it? Yeah. Of course, if it's here, the best, of course, what's left behind? 40 minus 16. How much is this? Carry one here. 20, what? 24, isn't it? Yeah. Here, carry one, 30. Oh, my mess, right? Okay. So I can put whatever, I can put two, okay, C12, H24 plus C12, H24, simple, okay, now, you can add up all, should be correct, okay, 34, 24, 24 plus 34, how much is it, A 2, carry 1, uh, 8, is it? 82, now, okay, right, now here, what condition is it? of course, aluminum oxide and heat, or plus silicon dioxide, okay? Now, consider only the bonds broken and bonds formed during the reaction. Use the data product to calculate entropy change. Now, this one is important. See, because it's such a big, uh, a, a, a big molecule here, right? Uh, I want to make it easier by, by showing you a simple way. I hope I can get it here. Now, the, the simplest way is, of course, you take uh, I'll go here. Okay. Six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Same one. Okay. Because it's changed by uh, alkane to alkane and uh, alkane. Okay. Now, the number of bonds broken is the same and bonds from the same one. I just take this one here and I'll show you the marking, same how it is gotten so you can understand clearly. So I'm using a simpler one because you use a lot of uh, harder to count. Okay, so you break it, it must give me the simplest one, of course, is an L E10. Yes, no, yes, okay. See, six, of course, there must be two L kids. The simplest is H uh, C2, uh, E10. Okay. You concentrate on only the bonds broken and bonds found. Otherwise, you will have a headache, man. You, you count everything. Yes, sir. Now, here, right? To form from here to here, I need to break. See, this there is it. I need to break this bond here. Yeah. I need to break a carbon carbon bond. Okay? What else? Now, to form this here, to form a double bond, I must break this, this as well. Okay? You know, I have two. Another here, three. Then I have four. So I must break four of them. Yes, sir. Because I must break the, the single bonds before I will form the bonds. Huh? So here, right? So I break these bonds here. The carbon hydrogen bonds are not broken, not from they're all the same. So here, okay, that is broken. So what is four? Okay, four. It means new one form. There's no new uh, carbon single bonds form huh? because these are old, old, old ones. Two carbon double bonds. It means broken is, of course, positive, endothermic. Form is negative, no, no, exothermic. Okay? Right? Now let's look at how the marking scheme is. Okay? Quickly, yeah, because I don't have time. Okay, see the answer is eight. It's not right, right now, okay? And the answer here is not, ah, uh, the, 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 the thing here. Now look here. They put like this, okay? Right? So, uh, they, they can put. One is again up to you, but this is easy. What's it? Okay. So, aluminum, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, see, bonds broken. Four, you know, do you see four? So, four times, it's on here. Now, this, of course, broken, broken should be positive, isn't it? That's not. Okay, positive, broken is positive. Four, two, you know, see? It's on here. This is negative. You minus it, 
you get this answer. Is that clear? Now go back and read through and I'm, I'm sure you can answer it. Okay, so I'm going to sign off now. So I got maybe one, one or two, that's all, okay? One or two times and then we are done. I want to get to stop this. What's the problem with this? Okay, stop recording first. Okay, bye-bye and see you next time.